Hey everyone, Carl here with another episode of Trilobites, our species profile videos. Before we get into this episode, we just wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed and watched these videos. And if you enjoy short, informative videos like these, please let us know in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Alright, let's get started. The history of Ingen's Parasaurolophus begins in the year 1920, when a skull and some impartial fragments were discovered along the Red Deer River in what is now known as the Dinosaur Park Formation. Parasaurolophus comes from the Campanian Age of the Upper Cretaceous Period and resided in Western North America. Several subspecies have been described, with a few differences between each other. There's the type Parasaurolophus from Alberta, and another, different Parasaurolophus from the Kirtland Formation in New Mexico, which had a small crest. This Parasaur was once thought to be the female version of the type Parasaurolophus, however, that has been disproven. It is here that we can begin to discuss Injun's clone. From what we can tell, the Parasaurs in the 1993 film seem to be based on the Parasaurolophus Critocrustasus subspecies. It was in 1986 that Injun started producing living Parasaurs at their sites on Isla Sorna. However, this version of Parasaurolophus was not normal, even for Injun's standards. This Parasaur was undersized, had a flap of skin between the crest and neck, and amphibian-like skin. This caused the Parasaur keepers to provide them with a moist holding pin. Sadly, but probably for the best, this version of the Parasaurolophus did not survive for very long. By 1988, Dr. Wu went back to the drawing board with the Parasaurolophus in order to produce the eight specimens seen in 1993. These Parasaurolophus, as previously stated, were Ingen's version of the Parasaurolophus critocrustasus. Opposed to Ingen's previous attempt, these Parasaurolophus seem to move around on all fours, just like their fossil counterpart, and lack the features sported by their now deceased cousins. Further, these parasaurs also had a green body and a white underbelly with blue stripes. After the failure of Jurassic Park, Injun's Parasaurolophus went extinct due to the high predator population left on the island. It's unclear when Dr. Wu created the newest version of Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus walkeri sorniensis. We have speculated that they were going to be for the next phase of Jurassic Park, or were created for one of the other future parks that Hammond wanted to create. These parasaurs differed from their forebearers due to a tan body, a brown or reddish brown crest, and dorsal markings running along the animal's spine. By 1997, this dinosaur was one of the most abundant herbivores on Site B. Engine scientists estimate that the Parasaurolophus population was approximately 109 individuals. That's going to conclude our first video pertaining to the Parasaurolophus in the Jurassic franchise. Stay tuned because we will finish up the story of Injun's Parasaurolophus in part 2 as Maserani Global takes over the dinosaur cloning empire.